The week everyone in racing looks forward to is underway following the official launch of this year's Jeep Magic Millions Carnival here on the Gold Coast. Locals mixed with royalty as the barrier draw for what will next year become Australia's richest race day was held on one of the country's most popular tourist destinations. Being on the beach, the barrier draw, um, you know, you can't ask for anywhere better really. This is an eye opener and, it's, and, and the vision of this as we're speaking is going all around the world. So you're starting to see now um, uh, vision in different countries and, and that helps Australian tourism. It helps the Gold Coast, it helps Queensland, it helps, it helps racing in general. As is the case every year, there was plenty riding on how the marbles fell in the $2 million two-year-old feature and it was good news for the three equal favourites heading into the draw. The David Hayes and Tom Dabernig trained Claudia Jean came up with the all-important barrier one while Eagle Farm Galloper frequently drew barrier four. But the biggest cheer was reserved for when Wicked Intense owner Chris Goddard drew barrier five. Number five. Well played. It's a number we really wanted, and, uh, and I spoke to Chris once just a little while ago, and the stars seem to be aligning for us. Uh, it's now a lot to do with the weather, I think, as well. And I think he's improved, but it's just the, the only thing I'm worried about is the, the wet track. If the track's OK, I think you'll run very, very well. A bit of a mixed bag, but the um, way the weather is, you just don't know how the track will play, so you never know, it could be an advantage. I'm quite happy with that, look, uh, I suppose you don't get much say in it, but uh, look, um, she's, she's well, she's come on good from the other day, and uh, I think it's a nice enough draw where she gets a bit of room and hopefully she can finish over him. Yeah, it's going to be really hard, um, you know, it's not an easy barrier to win from, but there's plenty of pace underneath us, and uh, hopefully we've got Nathan right on with me and we might be able to get the job done. It would be a very special victory, I'd imagine, if you could win the race this year with Nathan having won last year's on unencumbered. Yeah, amazing. It'd just be, um, I can't put it into words, but uh, let's hope we can go out and do it. Barriers were also drawn for the $1 million three-year-old guineas in which Tony Gollan's already powerful hand became even stronger with his four runners all drawing well, including pre-draw favourite Hijack Hussey, who drew barrier six. I think she's, um, she's probably our strongest chance on form. She likes the Gold Coast, likes a soft track and she's drawn absolutely perfect for her in barrier six. I expect her to be a bit closer in the run this Saturday and if she can take even one shortcut she's obviously going to be very hard to beat. With the barrier draws complete, attention now turns to the all-important Magic Millions yearling sale which kick off at 11am on Wednesday.